Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming future videos. This Pinterest request was sent to me by a viewer to see if I could create a stand with shelves for a small living space using my own technique and style. If you would like to find out how I created this stand, just continue watching. For this DIY, there was a zero cost because I already had supplies on hand from previous projects. To start, I'll use a strong box and I'll cut it into two pieces using a blade. Since this box already has creases, I will take both sides and fold it in and then I will use hot glue to hold it and add clear tape just for extra hold. If you don't have clear tape, you may use any kind of tape to seal the edges. I will have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. On the opposite side, I will use a ruler and I will mark two inches away from the crease on both sides and then I'll use the scissors to cut on the lines. Once I was done with my cutting, I fold it back but not all the way until I felt it was straight and then I hold it in place by using clear tape. Next I'll be using painter sticks already cut from previous projects and I'll apply hot glue and I'll apply them on the flappy parts to hold them in. On the second cardboard, I will repeat the same steps, but this time I will not glue the flaps in. Next, I will apply hot glue and I'll take the first cutout that I created and I will glue it together with the second cutout. Here, I'm just cutting the remaining flaps. I repeated the same steps and made two. I had borders left over from a previous project that I purchased from Home Depot and this is what I'll be using to connect both pieces together. I pushed the borders all the way in until I felt them reach the bottom. I placed markings where I'll be applying the Gorilla wood glue and hot glue to hold them in place. I did not have a whole piece of wood border so I'll be using these two pieces that I had left over and again I said I would not buy any extra materials for this DIY project so I will work with what I have.
Next, insert the other piece and hold until dry. Next, I took poster board and cut it to size of the side of the stand and then I'll be gluing them with hot glue and I'll repeat the same step throughout the whole stand. And congratulations to the Instagram giveaway winner. The name of the winner will be posted on my Instagram page. You will have 48 hours to reply by email. The name of the winner will be also receiving an autographed photo. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms for upcoming DIYs and giveaways. Links below. Next, I'll be using this self-adhesive vinyl marble paper from Walmart. And I'll be covering the whole entire stand. This vinyl paper is very easy to apply, just peel and smooth out with your hands or a smoothing tool. Next, I'll be painting the inside of the stand using this black acrylic paint and I gave it two coats. For this next clip, I have to apologize. I did not realize that my camera was tilted. Simply what I did was took a piece of cardboard, put the stand on top of the cardboard and trace the bottom and then I will cut it out. This will be the, for the bottom base. I cut out two pieces, one for the top and one for the bottom, and then I cover them with vinyl paper. Glue the bottom part, and before I glue the top, I added two bags of rocks on each side for balancing. I also cover the middle shelf with vinyl paper. I'll be adding extra shelves on the top and bottom, so I use a ruler to make sure everything's even and then I mark my spots. Next, I'll be applying eight corner brackets that I already had on hand and I'll apply them where I place my markings and I'll be using my strongest adhesive and hot glue and I'll also use the screw just to give it a better hold. Next, I cut out four pieces of strong cardboard and I glued two together so I'll have a set of two and then I cover them with vinyl paper and these will be my extra shelves. Next, I took black foam board and I cut it to size of the back of the stand and then I covered the foam board with mirror reflective paper and I glued it on using hot glue. Next, I'll be using eight vintage mirrors that I had already on hand and I'll be snapping off the handles using some pressure. Next, I'll be applying the mirrors with the broken part of the handle facing up on both sides of the stand using my strongest adhesive and hot glue and I will apply them five inches apart going down. Next, I will apply one inch mirrors that I already had on hand right above the broken part of each vintage mirror. And I also apply the handles and mirrors right on the outside of the middle shelf and top base. I also use this mirror reflective trimming and I cut three pieces and I glue them right above the mirrors on each vintage mirror. And I also glue strings of trimming on the front part of the edges of the stand. And for a reminder, this DIY project is made out of cardboard box, so please do not use any real candles. I also glue underneath each shelf one remote control push light. You may use it manually or with the remote control. The options is yours.
And here is the finished look. I have to say I really love the way this stand came out and it also gives me that vintage vibe. The Pinterest request was to make a stand with shelves for a small living space using my own technique and creative styles. I didn't spend any money on this DIY project because I had all the supplies on hand already from previous projects. But if you were to do this yourself and spend money on buying materials, it will cost you under $40. I hope you enjoyed this DIY for a small living space as much as I enjoy making it. Now don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends. Comment if you wish. Subscribe if you haven't. And click that notification bell for more upcoming future videos. See you soon.